And we are back. It is episode two. This is for the Tampa Card Show. It is 8 a.m. Saturday, March 27th. And we are going to get these deals again today. Bunch of stuff I picked up this week. I'll show you guys what I picked up. Got some soccer. Got some new basketball. Um, and uh, yeah, we about to head to the Tampa Show. I'm going to look for deals. And uh, let's see what we can get. Here at the Tampa Card Show, just pulled in. I'm gonna be looking for some soccer, some more trout. I think basketball is about to see a big trend up. You know, Kobe, LeBron, like their prices have dipped. And I think right now is the time to buy Kobe and LeBron. Like, I realize is with our minds, and I posted this on my story this week, our our mindset as humans is not to buy when something, when the price is down, right? It's like, oh, the price is down. Like I need to sell, I need to panic sell. I need to sell cause it's gonna go down more. Right? And it's like, no, that's the perfect time to buy. You have to buy when cards dip. Now, like, players who aren't Kobe and LeBron, right? Like, Rui. No offense to Rui. But if Rui dips, it's not like, oh, buy the dip. But it's like, I don't know if his prices are going to go back to where they were. But, like, you got players like Kobe, LeBron, MJ. It's not a time to panic sell. It's a time to buy. Take advantage of the opportunity where a LeBron Topps Chrome used to be 40000 35 to 40000 And now it's at 25000 is there a chance it can go back to 3540? 100%. Chance that a Kobe White Prism goes back to 250, 300? I don't see that happening this season. You know what I'm saying? Like, and at one point it was up, up to that high, but now they're like $100. In every market, there's a dip. And when the dip happens, we have to change our human behavior and say, this is a time to buy. I'm gonna trust the research that I've done. I'm gonna trust the research that I've been doing, and I'm gonna buy in the dip. Three words for today's episode. Buy the dip. Let's get it. Kyler Murray and Tua, these two guys I'm also looking for for football. I think they're both buys right now. They're pretty cheap. So that's what I'm looking for. Quick pickup, gave him cash, good deal. So as you can see, this is a smaller show. So you gotta hunt. Try to make some trades, let's get it. And you know, even small shows, like this is a very small show. I thought it was gonna be a little bigger, but it's, you know, it's a smaller show. Doesn't mean that you can't get deals, doesn't mean that you can't make money at the show doesn't mean you can't buy stuff and flip it but when there's a when it's a smaller show it just means that you got to be a little more attentive you got to search through everybody's showcase because at the end of the day everybody has a deal everybody's willing to give a deal because a smaller show might not bring a lot of buyers and these dealers want to make money the only way they're going to make money is if they sell the price, uh, the price is on the back of these the starting price would be about 1200 for this stuff here well, Ronaldo said he's the strongest player in the world. Oh, wow. Ronaldo, it's come from Ronaldo. Ronaldo, wow. All right, what's up? He's about to buy these two cards off me for $1,000. Yeah. $1, no, $100. Why steal? Steal. I'm hooking them up. How long you been doing cards? Four months. You like it? Yeah. So what, what else you get today? Just this. And then I got a 2015 Ronaldo. Nice. I didn't know Basic stuff. Basic stuff. You're ripping a Immaculate Soccer? Yeah. Immaculate Soccer. Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, oh, it's oh, 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 Trying to swap some trout for sealed boxes. 
so we can work here. Shout out to KK Sports Cards. The best summer. Yep. USA. Legend. Got the heat. All right, so here's what we got so far. I got a 2003 Tops Finest, 2003 Bowman, both sealed, pristine condition, some trout. So we got a Refractor 9, 9.5, and a Tops Update 10. We're almost, we're, we're getting close. Uh, so we're just trying to work a little bit more. Um, looking at some comps here. Looking at some comps here, all right. That's about so what about one more update? Mm. Push me too that's still like, yeah, I'm thinking like five. five. How's that? Five, 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 five. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you put that at five, I should have I'll try and be at like four. Okay. Oh, you are? Okay. I believe in that card right now. I mean, what if I add? Okay, so if we add another update, like, I mean, how far off? So, before, another update. I really think it's supposed to be crazy just since we're doing space with the fire. It's like 16 We're almost there. <laughs> Alright, All right, so here we are. We got the Bowman sealed box. We got the Tops Finest sealed box. And we got four Mike Trout rookies. Okay. Plus, I'm going to add some cash and uh, make it a deal. No. I have no idea. All right, so Josh got how many slabs? 75? Yes. And you're trying to get how much for all 75? 5,000. 5,000 for 75 slabs. Comes up to like 75. Is that a Lucas yeah. Silver? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to do it for sure. 100%. <laughs> oh, shoot. 50% eBay. Oh, 50% eBay. Sheesh. I paid 40. 40? Do I hear 30 in the building? <laughs> Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh. Give me, what are, what are we gonna do? Tell me what we're gonna do. Give me 3,500. That's right. But I'm I, I don't even feel comfortable at 26. You are at 27. I oh, know, but you said 26. You know? Rounding third collectibles. Rounding third collectibles. We got sports card. No, I'm gonna... just a ghost. They're trying to make a 75 card deal real quick. They're mm -hmm. super close. It's, 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 it's my best. And there. Give me two hours. Quick intermission. Uh, oh, I don't buy cards tomorrow and then you go for three grand and then for three grand to 35. That's what I that's what you have to do. Would you rather have all those cards or cash for money? You take the cash and you flip it. Like you did in the prison. Everything's worth more than that. But it gets the world, get the liquid. That's not liquid stuff. I got these twenty liquid. Liquid. Or do you want to just take them home and look at them? Okay, this is what you're going to do. I'm going to take the 2700 and then when you get 7000 you throw me 1000 when you meet me next. But if you don't sell them for seven, four more. That's it. Boom! Man, that's it. That was a good deal. One thing you got to realize in this hobby, liquid, liquid, liquid. That's the move, right? And you can get it. You might not get full cup. You might not get full amount that you want. But you can get some cash. Like he's selling 75 slash for 2700 Maybe they comp it four or five grand, right? But if he can get that 2700 and flip it, it's easier to flip 2700 to five grand and sell 75 slabs that nobody really wants for five grand. So I told him, I said, bro, like, get the cash and let's flip the cash tomorrow. That's the name of the game. If you got something that's just been sitting, yep. trade it for something that is liquid cash. Stale inventory, Stale inventory makes no money. Makes no money. That's, that's the cashing out today. We just picked up two nice LeBrons. We got the Bowman and we got the Tops, both PSA 9. Woo! We got the piles and let's start counting up the dough. How do you feel about this? Um, I felt pretty good. I need to get some capital back, hanging out with both of Josh's baby, you know, we're yeah. vibing, having a good time and chilling out. Got some new pickups too. Let's we got a video it. coming out as well, so check that out. Ooh. Pick up cards, baby. Let's get it. That's a wrap. That is a long day. It is now eight o'clock at night. We just got done eating. And it's a full day of buying, selling, and trading cards. Man, you could literally just go to shows, 
once a month, two times a month, and be good. Buy the show, take everything to the next show and sell it. As you sell it, you buy new stuff, you sell it, and you just keep building the snowball. Constantly buying and selling stuff, you will never be stuck with cards. You'll never be stuck with the bag. The moment you get stuck with the bag is when you decide to hold forever. If you're never holding, you might not see the car's full potential, but as long as you're always flipping to make a profit, you're gonna always be in the green. And see, that's the thing, like, so many times, even me, like, I wanna hold cards. But bro, if you hold cards, you're not making money while you're holding. You only make money when you sell. Holding can be good, but what if, what if you hold something for too long? What if you hold something for not long enough? At the end of the day, as long as you're just flipping the card, there's money to be made. Great day in Tampa. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you for the support, for the messages. Everybody who watches, I really appreciate you. And uh, let's keep getting better and make the most of your 24 hours. Let's get it.